Hi, this is Becky Speckhart with Experienced Mommy, and today I am going to reach into my bag of tricks and tell you all the ways to calm a crying baby. First of all, is their diaper wet? When was the last time you fed them? Sleep. When was the last time they had a good nap? Diaper, food, sleep. Always make sure you ask those things first. Sometimes the noises that mother nature makes is better than anything we can conjure up ourselves. So consider taking your baby outside, even if it's cold and you're just putting a blanket over them. That fresh air, or sometimes just the crickets and the cicadas and the birds chirping and just the fresh air and the cool breeze are all a really good distraction for a baby that's upset. Along the same vein of going outside is take them on a walk because not only do you have all those things I just mentioned about being outside, but then you've got the rumble of being in a little stroller that feels really good for them as well. And then they can cash out and have a nice nap and you can stretch your legs out and get moving. Sometimes a baby just wants something to suck on, whether that's their thumb or whether that's a pacifier or whether that's a chew toy. Sucking is something that helps soothe a baby. Swaddle your baby. Oftentimes, especially when they're straight out of the womb, they love to get back into that tight little position of when they were crammed in the womb, and you can kind of recreate that by swaddling the baby. Also, the same concept of trying to recreate the womb by making a shushing noise. Shh. Getting sleepy? swaying or swinging. And anytime you can use the combination of those things together, a pacifier, swaddling, shushing, swinging, try putting the baby on their side, facing out. And if you can do all five of those things at once, nine times out of 10, you're gonna be able to get your baby to stop crying. All of my children have loved baths. If my baby is going on a crazy, cray cray baby, angry, angsty child streak, Guess what? They're gonna get to take more baths. Can you just get out of the shower? Is it exciting? <laughs> Are you in a restaurant with a fussy baby? Something that has worked time and time and time again. Ask the waitress for a cup of ice. That will occupy a toddler, a baby, anybody for a long time, you just give them a little piece of ice to suck on. Even if it's just a hold or play with, it's just water and that kind of distracts them. And then sometimes the cold feels really good on their gums if they're cutting teeth. I have found that my kids really like to see what's going on. If you hold your baby and make sure you just turn their little face facing out and so they can see what's going on versus laying in a crib, staring at a ceiling, then they actually kind of get to see people and faces and movement and things like that, they're way happier. If you are holding them and you are comfortable, like you're sitting in a couch or a recliner and enjoying your life, oftentimes your baby's gonna be ticked off. They want to be held standing up because it creates more motion. They wanna be moving, they wanna be bounced. So like bouncing them while they're facing out, while you're standing up, they don't want you to be comfortable. Their tummy hurts or their head hurts or something hurts and they can't tell you. So you just stand there and you just. <laughs> Another way to console a crying baby is by reading a book. The sound of your voice can be soothing. The pictures can be distracting and focusing on something else can sometimes take the attention off of whatever is upsetting them. If you are on a road trip and your baby is super cheesed off. <laughs> Consider cracking the back window just a little bit. And this works really well if you're on a highway because it creates this <laughs> type fan noise. And oh my goodness, that has saved me so many times on road trips when I couldn't get back to them. I couldn't hold them, we were driving but it created a comforting sound. Cheers. My sister who is a nurse recommended that I download this app called Wonder Weeks. It's an incredible resource. You put in the day your baby was born and then it sketches out the next year or so of their life. There are things that your baby has called Wonder Weeks. 
or they call them developmental leaps. And so there's a lot going on inside that we don't know that is making them cranky. They're just about to have some kind of big burst of development in their body, something they can do physically or something mentally that they're putting together. This thing literally charts out by the month and it will tell you if you're coming up on a period of time where your baby's gonna be fussy. It's got a little storm cloud that means like, yeah, it's, it's gonna be rough. Your baby's gonna be fussy and crying and probably pretty ticked off, probably not sleeping well. And I'm telling you to the T, this thing was right. When my daughter was ticked off, there was a little storm cloud and there was something going on developmentally. And it set an expectation that helped me to know, okay, there's light at the end of the tunnel. This might be two weeks long, but at least I know, okay, it's two weeks and then she's gonna come out of it. So there you have it. Use those tricks. And nine times out of 10, you're gonna be able to get that baby to calm down. So there are gonna be some days when it doesn't matter what you try, your baby's just not feeling good. On those days, ask for help so that you can tap out and gain your sanity. It really takes a village. If this has been helpful for you, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel for more mom stuff. I hope you'll like the video and share it with a friend. This has been Beck Spec over and out.